It's on to New Hampshire. We are going on to New Hampshire. And now it is on to New Hampshire. I'm going right from here to New Hampshire. As you just heard, despite having any results in Iowa, the candidates are turning their sights to the Granite State for a crucial final push for votes. Our Ray Brewer is live at the Manchester Boston Regional Airport this morning where candidates have been flying in early this morning and you've seen many of them already, Ray. That's right, Aaron. We have. And of course, a week from now, we will already have the first results here in New Hampshire as there is that midnight voting in Dixville Notch and also two other locations in New Hampshire. Uh, the candidates have been streaming uh, back here to the Granite State. The first to arrive was Joe Biden. He didn't take any questions from reporters, but he did say that he felt good. Amy Klobuchar, very upbeat Amy Klobuchar, arriving here about quarter to four this morning here at the Manchester Boston Regional Airport. She was followed quickly by Andrew Yang, also upbeat about his chances and his showing. And finally then, uh, later this morning, we had Elizabeth Warren arrived. Here's a little bit of what the candidates had to say upon their arrival. We know uh, that we did incredibly well. Uh, we won a bunch of precincts and delegates that places we didn't expect to win. Um, and so we're feeling good. Even more excited to be here in New Hampshire where our campaign has a ton of momentum and we're going to storm the state all week long. It is good to be in New Hampshire. Our organizers are now leaving Iowa and going to the other places around the country where we are. And of course, that includes here in New Hampshire and Elizabeth Warren adding that her campaign is built for the long haul. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.